This is how Apple intends to showcase the Vision Pro in stores. Journalists are astounded by their first-hand experiences with Apple Vision Pro's spatial videos. Apple is preparing its retail staff for the Vision Pro launch to guarantee an ideal fit. These are the updates we will cover today. Make sure to watch the video until the end to be the first to know about these Vision Pro news. Let's get started. How Apple plans to display Vision Pro in stores. Apple's first big headset, the Apple Vision Pro, is about to come out. Apple's been saying it's going to be available early in the year. Now, some people are whispering that it might even show up before March. With the release date getting closer, Apple is getting all set to have the Vision Pro available in its U.S. stores. Aaron Paris, who contributes to Macromores, found some cool info in a database that gives us a peek at how Apple plans to display the Vision Pro. These design images shows that Apple designed this stylish stand just for the headset. It's going to fit right in with the other Apple products. The stand is curved and will hold the Vision Pro up so you can see the display, headband, and everything else from all around. It's going to be pretty neat to see. The Vision Pro headsets are going to be connected to a battery pack that sits under the headset on the stand. Apple's not hiding the battery pack at all, and they're going to put the stands on a mat with room for two headsets each. Just like with all their cool stuff, Apple's making special areas in their stores for the Vision Pro. The big stores will have places where you can actually try it on. The smaller stores might have a couple of headsets, but we're not sure if you'll get to try them out. Apple's also training their store employees in Cupertino this January. They're learning all about setting up the Vision Pro and helping customers buy it. It's a pretty fancy device with special headbands and light seals, and some folks will even need custom lenses made just for them. It looks like you'll probably have to go to an Apple store if you want a Vision Pro. Even if you order it online, you might need to pick it up at the store so they can make sure it fits you just right. At first, they're only selling it in the US, but they plan to sell it in other countries by the end of 2024. The Vision Pro is going to cost about $3,500, and Apple's thinking they'll make less than 400,000 of them in 2024. So it's going to be pretty exclusive. Apple trains retail staff for Vision Pro launch. Ensuring the perfect fit. So Apple's got big plans for their Vision Pro and they want to get it out by February. Mark German from Bloomberg says they've been working super hard for the past few weeks to have everything ready by the end of January. Apple first talked about the Vision Pro last June, telling us it'll be out early in 2024. At first, people thought it might come out in March, but now the buzz is that it might be as soon as January. When it does come out, it'll start in the United States. It seems like you'll need to go to a store to buy it or pick up an online order. Apple really wants to make sure this fits just right. They've got a special headband and a thing called the light seal to block out any outside light. If it's not snug, things might not look as awesome as they should, and the headset could feel too heavy. But here's some good news for folks who wear glasses. Apple's going to use special Zeiss lenses to make sure you can see clearly. They're planning to customize these right in the store. So everything about this headset, they're putting it together right there in the Apple store to make sure it's perfect for you. Apple's getting ready to show off the Vision Pro in some of its stores. They're making sure these stores have the headsets and all the bits and pieces like different headband sizes and light seals. They're even sending store employees to Cupertino to learn all about setting up the Vision Pro just right for customers. German says these employees are going to learn everything about the Vision Pro, like how it works and what cool things to tell people who might want to buy one. They're going to get really good at fitting the headband, light seal, and even prescription lenses. It's important stuff because they need to make sure the headset fits perfectly on your head. Plus, there's this app that scans your face to suggest the best size for the headband and light seal. But an employee will double check to make sure everything's just right. So Apple's making sure their team knows exactly what to do to help you out. Even with all this planning, Apple's not throwing a big launch event since it's only coming out in the US at first, and it's pretty pricey at $3,500. Plus, they're not making a ton of them right away. If a lot of people want one, 
it might take a while for Apple to catch up. Even though February is the goal, German is saying that if they run into any problems making them, there might be some delays. So we'll just have to wait and see how it all turns out. Journalists blown away by their own Apple vision. Pro Spatial Videos. Apple's got something neat coming with its new iOS 17.2 update. If you've got an iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can now record 3D spatial videos. What's cool is you'll be able to watch these videos on the upcoming Apple Vision Pro headset, hen it becomes available for purchase. To show off this new feature, Apple invited some media folks to try it out. They recorded videos with their iPhones and then watched them on the Vision Pro. People who got to see their videos in 3D are saying it's like stepping back into those moments. CNET's Scott Stein shared that videos of his family, especially his mom, felt super real and almost like he was right there with them. He noticed in fast-moving videos, the frame rate of 30 FPS was a bit obvious, but the HDR photos looked amazing, really bright and clear, and they appeared better than on a TV or a Mac with popped HDR and options to zoom in. This is what CNET's Scott Stein said. I also got a kick out of seeing some of my favorite exhibits at the Museum of Natural History in 3D. I went to the Hall of Ocean Life, where a trio of little tanks on the top floor house dioramas of prehistoric sea creatures that I've loved since I was a kid. I captured the ammonites and trilobites gliding from case to case. In 3D on Vision Pro, it felt like a little home diorama revisited. I could see the joy of capturing little immersive installations or spaces that aren't easy to go back to and having them in front of you again. Lance Ulanoff from TechRadar was really surprised by how awesome and real the panoramic images he took looked. He said the wider view let him see all these little details he'd never noticed before. He even took a video of a model train, and it felt so real, like it was about to roll right into his lap. When he compared these videos to normal ones, he noticed that everything felt more alive and it made him feel way more emotions. He mentioned that watching family videos in 3D can make you feel a whole lot of feelings, like way more intense than just watching a regular video. Raymond Wong from Inverse was talking about spatial videos and said they feel alive because the edges get all glowy and dreamlike, which makes the whole thing feel like a real memory. He watched a video of his mom in the spatial videos format, and it totally took him back. He said it was surreal to watch her talking, laughing, and eating right there in the video, like he was reliving the moment all over again. Wong noticed that when you're the right distance away, spatial videos can look life-sized, and even from afar, it was really emotional seeing his mom in 3D. He thinks that once people can watch their own videos on the Vision Pro, they'll understand the best moments to use this feature. This is what he mentioned. I think Apple was right in suggesting I capture sentimental content in spatial video. Cool as it was to see my colleagues at the office and a bar with a little bit of the third dimension, I don't think re-watching those clips had the same impact on me as the ones of my family. I suspect once people have the opportunity to see their own content in Vision Pro, they'll get a better sense of when and when not to tap the spatial video icon in the camera app on their iPhones. Josh Rubin from Cool Hunting found that even in low light, the videos looked good on the Vision Pro. He learned that the best videos had things happening close up, but not too much movement, or it might make you feel dizzy. He found that gently moving the camera in open areas made the best kind of videos to watch. This is what he mentioned. Shots with the camera stationary, such as on a tripod, are ideal, but camera movement is often necessary or desired to make a satisfying story. I found that recording linear and gently curved movements, especially in open spaces, created videos that were easy to view. By contrast, sharp turns in close quarters created more jarring videos. So Apple's Vision Pro headset is coming out early in 2024, and they're hoping folks will have lots of their own 3D videos ready to watch. You can start recording these spatial videos now on your iPhone 15 Pro or Max, but they'll only look 3D when you watch them on the Vision Pro. Let us know in the comments what you think about spatial videos.